Hi, welcome back to Tiny Classrooms Live. I'm the doctor here, Don Zalou in Taos, New Mexico. And I'm Artie Nathan, the HR guy here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Maike Benner, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. And I'm Lily Rode from Frankfurt, and I'm the go-to person for you to bring the entrepreneur spirit into your company. Very good. And our, and our topic today is try to keep things in perspective. You know, it's been a long year. We've been, you know, buffeted by all kinds of news and problems. But if we're going to get through this, <clears throat> it's because we're all keeping things straight in our minds. And so here's 15 things that can cause you to lose your perspective. Let me start, let me kick off. So um, perspective, is, as you said, RT is super hard to keep, but super important. And like the probably simplest way to lose perspective is to look at tiny parts instead of the whole. Um, sometimes we get so wound up with one issue, especially in companies, that's one issue that needs to be handled, but you know, the overall picture is that what counts. And if we're not looking at this factor, number one, to lose your perspective. A narrow-minded view is so also a factor in a narrow perspective. Um, if you look at, you know, personal background and experience instead of, you know, the overall um, asset of a person of a company. Also, oh, this is, I would call it Pareto. Uh, it's so easy to focus on the things that seemed urgent, but are not. So not having the right priorities in hand, not looking at the 80% that matter, but at the issue that is knocking loudest at the door, so to say. Also an easy way to lose perspective is to let emotions um, instead of reason rule your company, your thinking, the way you handle the business uh, in your business, so to say. Those are very good. Let me add, <clears throat> let me add a few to it. <clears throat> One is what, uh, making a mountain out of a molehill. And we've all heard that phrase, you know, it's making way too much out of something small or insignificant. And some people, some people tend to blow things out of proportion and they think, I made a mistake, I'm such a failure, or I had a terrible day, my life is over. Well, that's kind of a, a bad sense of logic and it's sort of leaning toward the pessimistic. Um, and it's largely not true, you simply made a mistake. Here's another good one, uh, labeling an entire group based on a few members. This is kind of called a deterministic thinking. Some folks turn a single situation into a sweeping broad generalization. And they think that just because one person committed a crime, the whole town should be thrown in jail. <laughs> Sounds like some dictators I've, we've known in our past. Uh, and and uh, listen exclusively uh, to like-minded people. Some people live in an, in an echo chamber where uh, dissenting viewpoints are uh, discouraged and frowned upon. They tend to surround themselves with yes people and subscribe to information that confirms their existing uh, beliefs. And I'm reminded of a joke of a CEO said, I want no yes people around me. When I say no, you all say no. It's a fun joke. Anyway, uh, and judge a book by its cover. Eh, some folks judge ideas based on a person's rank, age, gender, or race, <clears throat> rather than its merits. And so in the same light, some people evaluate a presentation based on the likability of the presenter rather than on the content. And you can see how this can get away from you and is really kind of a backward way of looking at things. And to add to it, you know, some people view situations from one perspective, their own. They're unable or unwilling to see other viewpoints and this always have to be, or they always have to be right. And uh, this is also a wrong approach. Look also into other answers or for other answers. Some folks refuse to think for themselves, which is really uh, sad sometimes. And they give more weight to someone else's opinion than their own. And um, also if you are jumping on the bandwagon, so some people follow the crowd simply because of the herd instinct and they have no perspective of their own. And are also likely to follow people blindly simply because well, they're authority figures. And also accept misinformation means some folks accept information blindly rather than yeah, looking it up. And the fact is just because information is plentiful doesn't make it accurate. Yeah? 
And furthermore, it's a fallacy to believe that more information always leads to better decisions. And you can lose perspective by being or playing a victim. You know, some people, maybe all of us, feel helpless in this situation. And we believe that life isn't fair or the outcome is predetermined somehow or it doesn't pay to try to do things. But if you make yourself out to be a victim, you will be one. So look at the positives and things and try to help yourself see a positive perspective. And don't live in the past. You know, we're all thinking about the way life used to be. And the fact of the matter is, whatever used to be is never going to be the same again, I think. And so you have to look at the future and, and don't think that what used to be will dictate what has to be. You can set your own future. And don't fail to see that good times or bad times last forever. The fact of the matter is that every day is a new time and you can deal with today and get ready for tomorrow and still have a positive outlook. You know, keeping things in perspective means you have to have uh, mental filters that prevent you from losing perspective. And don't, don't let yourself fall into the trap of not seeing things clearly. Uh, with a dirty windshield, you can't see much in front of you. So get out and clean your windshield, clean your mind, look at things positively, and let's go forward. Uh, I think, guys, that's our message for today, isn't it? It certainly it is. is. Yeah, very powerful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.